So, the last part of our home tour, finally, is our kitchen tour. And today I'm going to show you our kitchen in our 2005 Airstream Classic. So a couple things, um, work in progress, actually I'll be asking you guys some things during this video, so if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And my plan is to just show you where we have everything stored at the moment, and uh, go from there. It actually has a lot of storage for, for the size Airstream we have and for our kitchen. So, here is our kitchen. Um, we have the dinette area on this side, which is being used for as Steve's office, and we have the main kitchen area on this side. And I actually love the amount of counter space we have. We have added counter space here, which we use all the time. Um, double sink. This is pretty much always our dish drying rack. Nice amount of counter space here. And then if we really needed to, we could push pull this down to have an additional double this. Um, but we almost never do that because we... I drink tea a lot, and so we just leave the teapot there, but it works. So starting back, I'll show you starting on this side of the kitchen and work our way over for storage. Up high, um, in this cabinet, we keep our bowls and our plates and our tub aware, which are currently all completely full and in our freezer, so there's a big old empty spot right there. Um, we plan on getting some more plates and bowls eventually, but right now we have a set of four. Works fine for us. This is our snack cabinet, because we didn't know what else to do with it. So we have little containers with some snacks, and yeah, we don't keep a whole lot of snacks. This is actually pretty full because um, we have a lot of candy left over from Halloween. But normally there's actually not all that much in there. Nice light right here use this all the time while cooking at night. It gives a really good light to this area of the kitchen. Um, and that's really, that's really nice so we don't have to do our overhead lighting. Ooh. Patty. Girls want to be part of the video. So under the sink, um, we have our cool towel that my mother-in-law made us. And I'm not going to go into all details here. We keep our trash here for now. We don't like this solution, but we have not been able to find a trash barrel that would actually fit under our sink. This is the dog food that we keep in the Airstream. You saw the big tub of dog food that goes under the bed in our under the bed storage video. This is what we use to refill their, their bowls on a normal basis though. Tin foil, baggies, um, saran wrap. This is our junk drawer. All sorts of junk in there. Gotta have a junk drawer even in Airstream. Back behind the trash, we have some cleaning supplies and extra trash bags, stuff like that. So, we're going to move over and I'll show you under this dinette bench. Um, as you guys know, we're getting rid of the dinette, hopefully next year, and putting in a desk. But the one thing I require in that deal is that there is still adequate storage because I definitely use both of the giant storage compartments under the dinette seats, as you'll see. So under this one, not actually that much. We have our Vitamix our tofu press, our, this is, this is one of the things I was going to ask about. This is our only mixing bowl at the moment. I love it because you can use it as a measuring cup. You can microwave it. It holds a lot of food. Um, but it's our only one. I would love, 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 love to have some collapsible, bigger mixing bowls. So if anyone out there uses any collapsible mixing bowls, please let me know. Um, I've looked on Amazon. They're just such mixed reviews. I have no idea what the best one would be. So if you have one and you like it, please, please leave me a comment because I need more mixing bowls. So then we just keep our nature calm and um, some extra stuff that is too big to fit elsewhere. We could put it under the bed, but this is easier. Um, continuing in. This dinette bench we don't use very much, so it just has some cords and extra candy from Halloween. Still over there. This is our coffee and tea cabinet. You know we love coffee and tea when one of our 
how many cabinets and the entire Airstream is completely full of coffee and tea. So this is Steve's coffee area. He has more coffee, I promise. It's just under the bed right now. And then we have all sorts of different teas. Loose leaf, bag tea, different tea infusers. This is sugar. So that's our, that's our tea and coffee cabinet. This gets a lot of use. We're gonna continue moving in. Stay over on this side for right now. This cabinet is pretty much our dry good pantry. I think you've seen our condiment storage before with our bottles, but we also keep quinoa and flax meal, our adobo. This is like our favorite thing ever. And our spice rack, obviously when you see it will not hold this. So this gets its own special place. We got brown rice and we got flour back there too. So, and then just some random bags of stuff that we haven't finished. Dinette, which is the desk. Penny's bed underneath. Moving over to this side. So we have middle upper cabinet. These are almost all of our cups. We have our wine glasses in the bar, but other than that, we have a bunch of different size Turvis tumblers and mugs and travel mugs and things like that. We have our drawer liner up here so these things don't move very much uh, when we're traveling. So this is our cup cabinet. Uh, quick little note, we have our um, nice paper towel rack right here which is super useful. And then we added this little hook, it's supposed to be for bananas. Um, this is actually a plantain, so I've just hung it up with a um, rubber band, but it works. Keeps it off the counter. Storage is everything. Get it off the countertop if you can. We have our microwave. It's all dusty. Um, we actually use it a decent amount right now, but once we start traveling and boondocking, we plan on not using it since it uses a lot of battery power. Um, so eventually, if that ends up being the case and we're not using it, more than a few times a year, we might get rid of it and put more storage, but for now, it works. Our two drawers, these are the only two drawers we have. This one has all of our silverware and our knives, our scissors. Don't get too close, it looks really gross, Steve. Um, some chopsticks, can opener, garlic press, stuff like that. Bottom drawer, I think I showed in the drawer liner video, and this is all of our cooking utensils and serving utensils. So, big enough, a little crowded, but not too bad. And that's the middle of our kitchen. So now we're going to go to the this side of the kitchen. Start over here, above our stove. Our cast iron pots and our one other pot, our large soup pot is under the couch, but the otherwise, and our wok is in the closet, both of which I showed in other parts of our home tour, um, but otherwise these are our main pots for cooking. Stove, um, we added this little basket to keep some of the veggies that you would normally keep on your countertop, again trying to get stuff off the countertop, um, which we really like. And then we definitely use our spice rack. The top of the spice rack is the stuff we use on a weekly basis almost. And then the bottom of the spice rack is more, um, or I guess less often used spices. But we really like having the spice rack here. We have our cool Charlie, a stream in life cutting board my brother made us. Um, which don't, we don't actually use, it's more decoration at that point. Three burner stove, which is awesome, and we've, we've never used all three burners, we've used two before, but never all three. Oven, also storage. We keep our cutting boards in here, we keep our cake pan, and our Pyrex dishes. So, uh, gotta use every space you got. And my lunchbox for work. And we have this, which looks like it could be a cool drawer, but it's not. It's just one of these little flip-out cabinets. 
And this keeps our trivets, our um, spoon rest, and our definitely needing replacement uh, hot mitt. So that's easy enough to access there. This side, this is all of my canned good storage. Also my sweet potatoes and my onions. So we keep our garlic in here. Um, any of the canned good storage we need. Extras of things like mustard, some of the spices that don't fit in the spice rack. So like I said, I'm going to need some storage when we uh, eventually get rid of these di this dinette. But works really well for now. We eat a lot of sweet potatoes. Somebody, somebody might have just seen that and been like, oh my god, that's, a, that's like more sweet potatoes than I see in the grocery store. Costco, and we eat a lot of sweet potatoes. While I'm down here, I'm just going to scoot. There's one drawer. I lied. There's one more drawer. It's under the fridge. And this is our baking drawer. So it has all of our um, cut measures and teaspoons and tablespoons and baking soda and baking powder and sugar and cornstarch and cinnamon and everything like that. Our cupcake cups, which I talked about. That's our baking cabinet. One more cabinet to show, and that's this guy right here, and that's a little bit more pantry. So we keep our peanut butter and our oatmeal and nuts and some water bottles in here. Not full yet. Not quite as full as this one. But, yeah. I think that's our kitchen. It works amazing. Um... We cook pretty much every day of the month um, and weekend lunches. So we're either cooking on the stove or using the grill outside and we do all of our prep here. So it's not like a lot of people thought that when we moved into the Airstream, we were all of a sudden going to start going out to eat all the time. That's not in the budget. As much as Steve is, would like that, it's not in the budget. Um, and with my food allergies, it can be tough to do that. So we cook every single meal. Um, and we cook every single meal from scratch because of my food allergies. So a kitchen this small, you have to be a little bit resourceful. Totally doable though. And I love it. I love this kitchen. I don't miss my kitchen almost ever. And uh, it's just kind of cozy and cute. And Steve and I can both work here. Often I'm here and he's here or one of us is on at the stove and the other person's here. Um, there is plenty of room for, for the two of us. Now, if you got like three people that might start getting a little bit tight. Um, and we're thinking eventually when we have our desk slash instead of the dinette, that would be extra food prep area as well, possibly. So it may even get bigger and better. That's our kitchen. So, um, if you know about silicone collapsible bowls, please, please, please let me know in the comments. Um, or any other suggestions, please let us know in the comments for organization, um, ideas, things like that. And because uh, we're always looking for them. We cook a lot, like I said. And I think that's it. So that's the conclusion of our individual pieces of our home tour. Um, sneak peek. We are decora decorating for the holidays here soon. So uh, I think there might be a little... A holiday Christmas Airstream tour in our future. So we'll see how that goes. It's our first holidays here in the Airstream, so I'm going to have to see what I do. And if you like these tours, if you want to see something else, um, let us know. Please give us a big old thumbs up. And as always, we'd love it if you'd subscribe, if you like what we're doing. And with that, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!